wanted to sort of uh, give you a, uh, a historical uh, perspective. We were part of ARM way back when, when uh, uh, they had maybe uh, close to 20 to 30 participants at the time, and uh, it was a, both a scientific and uh, business development meeting. But uh, uh, last uh, meeting in San Diego, uh, there were about 1,100 plus participants. So that's really uh, basically speaks to the field we are in. I think the whole regenerative medicine is really growing at that uh, high clip. With that, uh, I want to uh, share with you quickly as far as uh, what uh, Invitrix is and uh, what we have done uh, so far. Actually, we were, uh, at least when I was in academia, when we were growing skin for burn patients back in 1993, we did not know we were actually were growing uh, stem cells, uh, be it dermal fibroblasts or keratinocytes, or the limbal stem cells from cornea. So uh, story has it that uh, uh, I came back to UCLA and the rumor was, or the hypothesis was at the time, if you have a stem cell in bone marrow, will you have a stem cell in adipose tissue? Lo and behold, uh, we were uh, part of the first group in 1997. It took us about three years to isolate, differentiate, uh, and basically show that these were actually mesenchymal stem cell in the fat tissue. At the time, uh, we really did not know how to use or apply this technology. It took uh, some time for industry and uh, academia to come around and understand what uh, this uh, 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 technology was, uh, was going to go. But again, you've seen the explosion of uh, different companies, uh, the technologies, uh, life-saving technologies in uh, some aspect in, uh, uh, in cancer therapeutics is really uh, is an uh, astonishing time to really be part of this uh, revolution, I think those of us who have been around uh, can attest to the fact that uh, the field is promising. Now, uh, I'm going to uh, run through some of the slides. I'm not going to show any clinical data uh, for, uh, uh, for the fact that, you know, we're going to basically talk about the company's uh, plan and uh, future. I would uh, move uh, to, I, uh, briefly mentioned the company's background, where, uh, where we are, and uh, in the uh, next few slides, we'll show you as far as where we are going, as far as the company. We are getting really directions. We are listening to the market, and we are really trying to be responsive to the cues that we get from the market. And you'll see throughout this uh, presentation that uh, we are uh, very tentative, and we, being a private company, being a uh, small size company, is easy for us to maneuver. And I think in this field, in cell therapy regenerative, that is an absolute requirement, uh, that you need to be agile and need to move uh, from all aspects, not only from uh, technologies that are coming in from a regulatory uh, landscape, among others, is key that uh, one uh, understands uh, how to implement uh, some of these uh, strategies. Taking risk as being an entrepreneurial company is a uh, prerequisite. Uh, fear is not something that we subscribe to, uh, and uh, we have um, mastered this game very well. We are currently in uh, 25 and counting nations and we understand the regulatory landscape and the need of the market in each specific nation that we are in. It's either me or, uh, oh, here we go. So we, uh, to our commitment, actually, our CEO of the company just uh, joined the room, Dr. Kevin Kong. This was uh, his brainchild for us to build in a state-of-the-art facility. This was a, a two-year uh, uh, endeavor, and we managed to 
finally uh, operate in a GMP facility. Uh, here is a, a list of technologies or uh, products that we have uh, dabbled into. We have cord blood stem cell, human cord blood, wart and jelly, uh, HUVAC cell. Uh, uh, we have uh, skin grafts uh, that we use in outside US in uh, burn and wood care. Again, that goes back to our heritage in uh, tissue engineering. We talked about fat stem cell, amniotic tissue, and amniotic uh, fluid uh, is uh, some of the areas that we are in. Again, uh, we have actually used uh, microvesicles or exosomes since 2003 in our uh, skin care and hair care product. Again, at the time, uh, we did not know if it was the growth factors or the cytokines that were uh, uh, doing the work in this uh, topical uh, product. But now, uh, again, it's one of our uh, strongest strategies, especially in China, to sell this conditioned media to several uh, entities, uh, mainly in topical skin care and hair care. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with the uh, process of how we uh, go through this uh, uh, birth tissue collection, uh, cryopreservation, and processing, release, and shipment to the uh, physician. Uh, this is a cartoon basically depicting the steps that we take through uh, this process. As I mentioned, we are uh, uh, very aggressive as uh, opening up a new market. I just arrived from uh, Morocco and Istanbul. These are the uh, two new locations that we have started uh, distribution and also partnering with uh, local hospitals and uh, laboratories, uh, universities, and medical centers. This is really has been our aggressive push to expand beyond uh, US, US borders. We've been in several of these countries for many, many years. We've been in Mexico from our inception. Uh, our headquarter is in Taiwan. We, are, uh, we have a very robust operation uh, in uh, Taiwan, Taichung, and uh, Kaohsiung. Uh, and uh, we are fast uh, opening up our uh, operation uh, in uh, Manila uh, and uh, building uh, a possible facility in, uh, uh, in Brazil. Uh, again, this is a uh, picture of uh, some of our uh, wet lab and uh, clinical uh, or clean room. This is uh, a shot of our, again, uh, 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 wet lab. Uh, some of the, uh, in, in a nutshell, we have fast uh, by default have become uh, what we call a, a miniature J-Lab, or Johnson & Johnson Lab. Those of you who are familiar with the model is an uh, incubation uh, uh, type of a space where we provide not only facility and clean rooms, but we also uh, provide uh, capital, if need be, we provide some of the services and uh, flow cytometry, among others, filtration, whatever equipment is needed. Uh, we currently are in uh, relationship with uh, uh, two companies. Uh, uh, one is uh, NK Max out of uh, Korea, and then our Singaporean partner also uh, that uh, are coming in to sort of help us uh, uh, develop our uh, core technology with uh, having them being, uh, if you will, our roommate. Uh, the, uh, uh, she's clicking the time. Uh, are we running out of time? Yes. Yes. So uh, again, uh, current R&D projects, we have the, uh, we are going through uh, the mesenchymal stem cell dried exosomal product. These are a wort and jelly uh, cell product. We have uh, dabbled into uh, CAR T cell therapy. As I mentioned, NK cell is something that we have done in Taiwan, and now we are further strengthening our uh, know-how with our uh, Korean partner. And then uh, by just uh, 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 
relationships, we are moving fast into the dental application of this mesenchymal stem cell, which is a uh, possibly a uh, formidable market for what we need to do. The, uh, uh, we talked about the NKMAX. Uh, this is uh, uh, going to be an international uh, collaboration. Uh, we are starting in California. Then uh, hope is that we follow the team to Seoul, Korea in uh, further expanding our uh, capabilities in this area in Asia and beyond. The uh, Lambda Gen Therapeutics is our Singaporean gene editing company. Uh, we are uh, uh, interest uh, with this new relationship is, uh, is to really deal with some of the hemophilia A uh, and Duchenne muscular dystrophy, Wilson disease, among other rare diseases that uh, we are hoping to collaborate and cooperate with our uh, newfound uh, uh, team members. This is, uh, again, uh, we are uh, currently uh, in relationship with uh, not too far from here. We are in uh, Marrakesh in one of the local hospitals. Uh, we uh, have a relationship uh, in Puerto Rico, as I mentioned, Philippines, and specifically Taiwan, where uh, we are, uh, that's our uh, Asia headquarter. And uh, again, the core facility in California, JLab model and providing uh, uh, infrastructure and uh, uh, capital as per uh, needed, depending on the relationship. With that note, uh, I'll uh, open the floor to questions. <laughs>